so today we're going to be showing you how to make a 3D printed lure like this one right here. So this is a scaled up version of it. The one we're going to be working with right now for the video is normal size one. But in a future video we're actually going to be using all the ones that we make here today to try to catch some fish with a 3D printed lure. So this is a final product, again scaled up, a little bit larger. And these are the starting templates. 3D printer printed one side and the other side, like so. And it prints them flat on the bed. And then you peel them off. And then you've got two sides that you're going to combine eventually together to form one fish. Now the way 3D printer works is it takes this PLA plastic and it feeds it through the machine and as it heats up in the machine, as you can see, it'll go through the nozzle and it will come out a very, very thin amount and then it's going to stack that thin amount into the shape of what you're printing and keep stacking those layers over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until you get results like this. Now, as you can see here, I printed with supports, but these easily break away. You don't have to always use supports, but sometimes it makes life easier. See it just pops right out, leaving the hollowed body, and then you throw away the support, and you do the same for this side as well as the head area right here. Again, just pops right out, leaving you with the shell of the fish that we're going to be using. And there you have it hollowed out shell. So now we're going to use these little wires that you can use to make fishing lures with and we're going to take them and form them to fit the fish bodies so that we have a place to actually hook the fish lure the treble hooks onto. You can see on this one I've got it already done and what we have here is three points one for the top for the line actually attached to and then the front and rear for the treble hooks to attach to to keep it in place while I'm trying to glue the two bodies together I use just some a little bit of dab of hot glue so once you do have these wires molded into place what you can end up doing is finding the other half of it and you're going to glue these together matching the body parts like so but first what we need to do is add metal bearings so that it gives the fish some weight because otherwise this is going to float right to the top and not have any action to it. Like I mentioned, we're going to add those metal bearings so that A, gives it a nice little rattle. And again, so that it wants to sit like this in the water and swim. Now this is from Thingiverse. I'll link the page in the credits to who made the actual design for the 3D lure and they stated that they're modeling off of the rattle trap. So. so like I said, now we're gonna add the metal beads, the bearings. We'll add eight to the rear section and 22 to the front. Once you have these, you gotta carefully get these 
edges all glued and for this I just use an all-purpose glue for crafts. Nice thing about this applicator is it comes with a little applicator at the top so it makes it easy to try to glue these together carefully. Once you've got the two parts together, you can take a clamp here to apply pressure while it dries. Now we're going to leave this set for a little bit while the glue dries and then we'll come back and start painting it. So once it's done drying you'll have a result similar to this. One connected piece with a nice rattle to it. Now we just need to paint it. So I'll set up the rig like so to paint it. For the base layer, I'm just going to use a rattle pan to keep it easy. So while that paint dries, we're going to look at the actual time lapse of printing both sides of the lure so you can kind of get an idea of how it stacks those layers to make 3D prints. So now that we got that base layer here of green, we're just going to go ahead and add in any other colors that we need. For me, I on the first one, I've been trying to replicate like a sunfish bluegill kind of a pattern. And I'm going to try to do the same thing on the smaller version. So as you can see now, I'm just using basic craft glue, acrylic paint from the store. You can get this just about anywhere. It's a cheap, easy way. Ideally, we could use an air sprayer, but again, that's getting kind of expensive and we're just trying to build a quick, easy 3D printed budget lure here. So this is my overall results. I still got to let it dry and then put clear coat on it. And then we'll have the final results. So now that we've finished painting and putting a clear coat on, we now have to get to decide to put what size treble hook on here. So we'll look right here. I'm thinking maybe just a tiny bit smaller. Nice hook about that size, we should fit it real good. So we'll take our pliers here with a split nose ring on it. We'll find a split ring that fits these hooks. Do like this one. 
We got two of those. Using your split ring nose pliers, you just thread it on there. Then you're going to do the same process to put it on here, like so. Pretty good size matching hook. Now we just repeat the same process for the front hook here. And just like that, two hooks. Pretty well sized, I would say, for the size of this lure. And it matches the bigger one I made here. Pretty well, I think. Now again, we're gonna try both of these out in a fishing challenge in the future to see what, if anything, we can catch with 3D printed fishing lures from start to finish. So if you like what you saw here, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, everything helps the channel. Um, again, in future, we're gonna be doing a video where we try these out. I'll put in a quick little clip where I threw it in the water just to show proof of concept. But otherwise, again, in the future, it's going to be a full video of us using these to catch fish with.